Okay, we are recording. Hi, everybody. You know me, Kay Souter. I am so excited. We've got my mom on tonight. We're going to do a little leadership powwow and have a little chit chat. And, um, you know, I, I was with my mom earlier and I was talking about the Zoom a little bit and, and she asked me, what do you really want to get out of this? And a couple of things came to mind and one of those was just something that we all talked about for those of you that weren't at conference. It's just a, a little tiny recap, but I want you guys to know how important you are and how important this team is and how, how much your voice matters and who you are as a leader matters. And, um, you know, mom's hot off of uh, boot camp in Dallas and she's gonna share a couple nuggets about that. I am so excited to be going to the Phoenix one. That is the one I'm able to go to this, this quarter and I am jazzed, especially after her coming off and telling how, us how, excited it was, how exciting it was. Um, but I really wanna hone in on how important you are as leaders um, today, tonight and to answer your questions, but to really kind of set a path for what these next couple months can, can do for our team. So, um, hey mom. Hey, hey, hey. Um, we have some questions and I, and I wanna get to those and then I really wanna talk about, um, you know, really what you took away from Dallas. Okay. And, and what you can tell this team about how powerful that was. I don't know if anybody in this, Zoom tonight was there, but um, but hopefully you can get to uh, to Phoenix or to Grand Rapids, which would be amazing too. Um, so let's start answering a couple of these questions. I'd like to get right to it. Um, how do I handle distributors and loyal customers who quit or telling me they want to because of bad experiences with our customer service? You know, I, you know, what I would like to know is what those experiences are, because I know that if I had something from whoever wrote this question, uh, I would like for you just to send me an email at pam at networksglobal.com and give me uh, those thoughts and, and some accurate uh, examples of what you're talking about here, because we can go back and pull calls. We re-record everything, and I know that Skeeter would want to be right on top of this. He wouldn't want me to have this question. He would not want me to have this. Uh, he takes very uh, strong pride in his customer service department, so we would like to know what these, uh, these thoughts are coming from and uh, the examples that you have so that we can be better. I mean, there's no reason, we don't want customers and distributors leaving because of poor customer service. Mm -hmm. That's the last thing that we want. So give me some specifics on that. Uh, email those to me, you know, feel free to do that. Any one of you, uh, and we will, we will look into it. And a lot of times we'll pull these calls and the, the person on the other end, not just our end, but the person on the other end um, started some things too. You know, wasn't as kind as they could have been. And I'm not wanting to put blame on that at all. But we can go back and listen to that and see that rapport that goes back and forth. But we want to be the best that we can be at customer service. So let's, let's get this taken care of and get me those uh, right away and let me uh, go in and I'll personally talk to Skeeter. Yeah, and I'd like to say as upline, you know, I appreciate it when you guys take the initiative and say, I want to take care of this and fix this because yeah. a lot of times it's just a coaching moment that, that our, our top execs can take on to customer service. For example, I got an email this morning. Um, Tiffany messaged me and said one of her distributors was going to reach out and she did. She had a little customer service error with a commission question and it was screenshotted, emailed to me, all professionally written, no drama, just facts. And then I can just forward it right to my BAM and it was like one and done. And then I'll get a, get a response tomorrow. Yeah. Take care of it. So if you have stuff, um, I always say, don't expect us to know what your, what your issues are. It's not that I want an influx of problems in my email box. I definitely don't yeah. I'm here to help you through those moments so that um, ultimately in the long run, we're a stronger team. Yeah, you don't want to be customer service, Kay, and, and you know, I don't either, but I want to give solid examples back to them. I mean, he gets right on it. Anytime that I send him something, he is right on it within seconds. He sees my email come through, and uh, he takes a lot of pride in that, and so do I. We want superior customer service. We know we get new people uh, hired every single day. 
that don't really know us, they're in training, and we know that there's going to be things like that that take place. But uh, we, again, just email me and let's get on top of this so that you feel confident that you can keep your customers and confident that you can keep your distributors. Okay. Awesome. Okay. But I also want to say this too. A lot of times distributors are just looking for a reason to leave. You know, they're looking like they're not producing, they're not getting uh, out of it works what they, uh, what they wanted simply because the work is not there on their end. So they can, something comes up like this and it gives them a reason to leave where it should give them a reason to want us to be better and to get with us, to get with the upline and say, this needs to be taken care of. I wanna, I wanna be proud of who I'm working for. So let's look at it in that perspective as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, okay. this next question is uh, starting basically from scratch. Okay, now this is a, a top tier diamond leader. So we're talking, you know, above that triple diamond threshold. That's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot there, you know, new team building and where, like, where do I start is the question. Well, you know, here's what you do. You start, you start. I had great, a great leadership meeting with ambassadors and black diamonds last night for several hours. And, you know, it was in a very cool setting. We were just lounging, uh, just going, just brainstorming, going back and forth with each other. And that's why I love uh, boot camps. I, I love leadership coming together. It's for me, it's a relaxed situation that I, if I, anytime that I can get them, get around them and just with myself, I can, I can pour into them and then they feel confident that they can talk to me about things. So, uh, you know, what we get out of this all of us at some point um, feel like our business needs to go to another level. You know, here you are, your diamonds are above, you could be triples and above, you could be presidential, and you look at your business and it's not where you want it to be. It, so what you decide is this is not where I want my business to be. I want my business to be here. I wanna take my business to a whole nother level. And so how do you start that? Or some of you are, are thinking of the word rebuild. And I, I want to take that out of our vocabulary, 100% out, because we're not rebuilding here. You're already at a great position. The volume may not be there for you, but you can build that volume. And if you look back at your work, one of the things that uh, Cody and Tiffany Chapman talked about at length with everyone is they got to presidential and they wanted this team that they had to take them to ambassador. So they got in micromanagement mode. That's what they did. They got in micromanagement mode and tried to micromanage that current team to ambassador. And it wasn't working because guess what they stopped doing? Recruiting. They personally stopped recruiting. And about a year and a half into this, getting nowhere, they, Cody went back and looked at the math. And what he saw was shocking. He said, when we were rocking all, all the way to presidential, we were completing, personally completing the steps to success, not once, but at least two, two to three times personally each month. And we stopped doing that. And we, we tried to push and pull this current team to ambassador and they weren't going to be that team that took us there. And so they went back to work. They went back to building, personally building the steps to success. And in eight months, they went to ambassador diamond from that moment that they came to that realization. Well, another thing that they did, there are people like Kay was saying, this is my team. This is the team. This is the Black Diamond team. There's people on this team that can go ambassador and beyond. They're already here, Mom. They're in, they're going to be on this Zoom, and and so what what you do is what everyone does. Let's look deep within our organization. Uh, you know, Stephanie and Joel at one point were on Carla's nineteenth level. Now they're on her first. 
So what happened? Well, people just left. People just got out of the way. They compressed up, which is a beautiful thing, isn't it? It's a great thing for them, but they were a fire starter. They, they went out, they went to work and Carla didn't even know who they were. There's people on your organization like that. Now I don't want you to go down there and spend too much time, but look within the legs that you currently have and ask people who wants to go, who's ready to go and start that fire there and then let the, the people up above them see that there's volume. There's, there's something going on here, which could stoke them and get them uh, going again. So if you're a diamond or above and your business isn't where you want it to be, you have to, and Mark talked about this endlessly at the diamond above uh, talk on Friday night. He said, do what I do. I pull myself by the ear and I go look in the mirror and I go, Mark, you are the cause of this. I t he says he takes full responsibility. So I would suggest that each of you take full responsibility for your business because it is your business and go look yourself in the mirror and say, I am worthy. I am worth this. I'm going, going to go to the next level and start and build the steps to success. Just start there because that's all we ever do. And when you lose that perspective and when you lose that, then you're going to lose momentum within your business because that's what you want your team to do. And you're expecting them to do something you're not even doing. So go build the steps to success. Uh, Ashley Olive, she, uh, she very successful. And she said she realized her success was created with rap parties and she was working full time, has three boys and she was partying six days a week. Six days a week, she was partying. She was out. She decided to build a legacy and she went to work and she, she said, I was at a party and someone said, I want a party. She said, Tuesday or Thursday, what day is best for you? There was no alternative. And they booked one of those dates. When she starts a new distributor, Tuesday or Thursday, what day works for you? Whether it's a Zoom launch or a in-person launch, she doesn't give them an alternative. She is launching them before their product, before their kit ever shows up. It's just, we work, we go to work. And okay, I was talking about how when you were in college, you decided to intern with me and they said, well, I'm not going to give you credit for it, <laughs> but you said, the heck with it. I'm going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. And we're riding in the car. It's one o'clock in the morning. We had driven several hours, had launched several uh, rap parties that day. You're in the back seat, like, like that with your drool coming down because you're so tired. I'm on the phone with California. I'm working the time zones. That's what we do. And you know what? That's exhilarating and that's fun and that's putting volume in your business. So go to work. That's what I say. Go to work. Like your hair is on fire. Go to work with that passion, that excitement, that knowing that, you know, I'm just going to show up every day in my personal business. I'm going to show up. I'm going to do the extraordinary in my personal business. I'm going to do the follow-up. And I asked people in the audience yesterday, how many of you would just be bold enough to raise your hand and say you're just lazy? You would not believe the people that raised their hand. Mm. That just, like, I'm lazy. And they're too lazy to follow up, too lazy to, to have a wrap party too lazy to build their business, just lay, pure out lazy and laziness will take you out faster than anything. And one day of lazy leads to the second day of lazy leads to the third day. Before you know it, a whole month has gone by and you're nowhere near where you want to be. So let's go to work team. That's what I suggest. Let's go to work. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. What is the best way to guarantee your fast start bonus? Okay. I want to talk, mom, I want to talk yeah. about what we were talking about tonight that you told me, I think it was what Fallon talked about at boot camp. Okay. So what is the best way to guarantee your fast start bonuses? I feel like I usually have to place two LCs to get my fast start. I have them do a hundreds list and schedule a launch party, but is there something else I can say that will help them uh, get too loyal before day 30. Oh yeah. I mean, you should be getting laws in 72 hours. 
You know, that person just got started. They're excited. So that launch takes place immediately. One of the things that Fallon, she's got a fast moving, fast moving team. I mean, her check is going through the roof. She's presidential dom and right on the border of going ambassador. And she has somebody sign up today. She does what she calls a mock party. And what she does is she's telling, um, for instance, she will have them start their hundreds list that day. So they'll start their hundreds list and she'll say, all right, now I want you to contact everybody on this list and invite them tonight. Let's say she launched, they started today, invite them tonight for 15 minutes on a zoom. And it's a, it's a mock party. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to, uh, you're asking them to attend just to help you out, just to have, you know, just because you're, you're learning and it's going to be just 15 minutes and whoever can join can join. She says it's been unbelievable how many people get on. And first of all, she has, let's say that Kay, I just was launching her. This was her mock party. And I would, she would say now, I'm not going to be doing, hey, mom, hey, friends, I'm not going to be doing the mock party. Fallon's going to be doing it for me or Pam's going to be doing it for me because I'm here to learn. And I appreciate all of you being here to learn with me. I just can't thank you enough. Then I would get on and I would say, first of all, everyone, put your wallets away. This is not about buying anything. This is about helping Kay out. This is just a mock party. She's here to learn. And she, she's so thrilled that you're here. So out comes the party pad. Out comes the party pad. And she's going through it. And Kay's on here taking notes. She's writing, th she's beaming, writing things down. They get through the end of it. The next thing you know, somebody's going, I need that fat fighter. I, I want to try the wraps. She's showing them, bringing up before and after pictures through this mock party. Some people exit out, some people join in late, but she said she typically will get anywhere from four to six LCs at that mock party. And I'm loving that. I just think that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. And so why, why couldn't we all do that tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Hey, Joy, I just need your help. I'm getting some coaching and um, uh, Kay is going to be w working with me. I just need some friends to jump on the zoom. I don't need anything from you at all. Keep your wallets in your, in your, in your purse. I just need you to come for 15 minutes. Just show up for me. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah. And then at the end, she'll go, now the real party is on Thursday at 7 p.m. So we'll send you a link so you can come back and find out more. And she said, it's unbelievable how many more will come back and find and to listen. And they're getting distributors from it, everything. This is what, this is the day they join. She does it that night because we're excited. We want, we, you know, we're like a deer in the headlight. Ignorance on fire. They, they're, friends and family haven't seen anything about it yet. So they're like, okay, I'll show up. It's a zoom. It's 15 minutes. I can't believe on my lives, how many people from high school are jumping on my live events. I mean, people that I, I didn't even know knew who I uh, remembered me are on my live events. So do more of those too, Kay. I, I think five minutes live here and there, showing the fat fighter demo, a five minute live, you putting on a facial, a five minute live, you washing your skin with the cleanser, a five minute live on making a shake. Get, get over the fact of these lives having to be perfect. These lives should be about you doing, uh, shaking up the greens. I am shaking up the greens and then talk about how many fruits and vegetables are in it. And then just sit there and drink it live two minutes. It's amazing how many people will join in. We're just, we need to go to work. That's what we need to do and to be more proactive in our own personal businesses. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you don't need to be giving people too loyal customers. You're, you're teaching them they can't do it. And then when they sign somebody up, they're going to automatically assume they can't do it either. Nobody's launching. Nobody's doing anything on their own. So we've got to launch them right away that day. Me do too. a mock party just for training. Love it. People get so stinking excited about these products, you guys. I mean, that's one thing that mom was saying about yeah. is just the, te the personal testimonies that were shared. And I think if you get on a, like, I loved that rap party I did Saturday. 
it was 1.30 in the afternoon and I launched a new DT three hours behind me. And so it was 10.30 a.m. their time. And I'm, I had so much fun and it was less yeah. than an hour. It was 45 minutes and I went through the entire party pad. We did a, we gave away one wrap. It was so much fun. And I think, why aren't you doing this? You don't have to just, you, you could launch multiple people. I invited three other of my brand new distributors onto that wrap party to invite their guests. So not only did I launch one, I said, Hey, listen, I got to maximize my time here. And I know you know how important that is. I need to invite three new of my new girls on. Is that okay? Of course it was okay. It was more momentum. It was more people commenting, more people interacting. And so we had um, a lot of interaction on that party and a, a turnout has just been amazing from enrollments. And so um, I don't know why you can't do that. I mean, just, just, just go live. I know it's awkward at first if you're not used to it, but you get in the groove of it. You're looking at yourself anyway. So you're really just talking to yourself. It's not like you're talking to 20,000 people that you can see you're talking to yourself and it's really good practice. And um, they love, I, I, if, I don't know if you guys saw it, but it was public, but even during the, uh, I did the party pad and I just had it up on my computer and was using my phone to go live. And I even turned my phone around and showed them the average earnings chart. I'm like, I'm just following this, this presentation as I'm talking to you guys today. And I just showed them the average earnings chart and they could see that I was following a presentation. I mean, that's duplication in its finest. And so that was so much fun, but there's no reason why you can't. Um, and, and you know, Kay, I'll, I'll pull one out because- I did a live Facebook event and I had it public so they could share it. I didn't do a private one because I wanted them to be able to share um, and I wanted the interaction. And so I went live in a Facebook event so that they can invite people to it in the-, in the You can just do it like this. Exactly, I just, exactly. Hey. You know, just go through it like this. We're making this way too hard, way too hard. You could just have fun. Show them the Fat Fighter demo right there. Just pull it up. Just, just have a ball. I but like. It, I like it's, the, um, it, it, there's yeah. no magic here. We, we were looking for the pixie dust. Yeah. And, uh, at boot camp, we were. You know, I said let's let's look in every corner because I have yet to find it. It's called work, and there is no magic pixie dust. We have to go to work. We have to do this ourselves and everything works. Live works, wrap parties in home, online work, everything works. It all works for everybody. We just got to do it. All right. What's your next question? Okay. So the question was, did you live, uh, was it public? Just show up on you? No, it doesn't show up on my timeline. It shows up in the event, but the event is public so that they can share it. I have them share it on their timeline share the live on their timeline in order to be entered in for the free wrap drawing. And they have to interact on the, they have to interact on the live video in order to be entered. They have to tag the person that invited them in order to be entered. So not only are they interacting, they're tagging and they're sharing it on their timeline, which is taking it, you know, and then when, when prospects see it, they see, Oh my gosh, there's 14 shares on this video. What is this video about? It must be popular. And then they're seeing all the comments and then they're more likely to chime in. But the reason why I like this is because people today were still viewing it and this was yesterday and they're still commenting. So people are still going back and watching it that weren't able to attend the time frame because maybe they had baseball practice or something going on in our life. And so I like the live event because it's still there. It's not gone anywhere. It's still public. So that's what it's really cool. And you know, one of the things uh, we went out into the audience and we said, uh, the Duns and I did, let's give blitz tips. Uh, who, who's got a great blitz tip and a girl stood up and this was brilliant. She, uh, she does uh, live events uh, uh, on products all the time. So what she'll do is if she's out blitzing, she'll have a live event on the blitz card and she tells the people that she's blitzing that, Hey, if you come to this live event tonight, I'm doing a free drawing. So just tune in. It'll be on my Facebook page right here at seven o'clock. And she said, people join in that she blitz that day that she gave that coupon to. And if they come in and she sees them, then she does a free drawing for a free wrap. But guess what? That, that potential customer, that potential distributor came in and looked at a live event. I think that is so smart. So if you're out blitzing, you could tell them, I have live events on Tuesday and Thursday at nine o'clock. 
join in and you, you could get in a drawing for a free wrap. Love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Alicia, I'm going to, uh, this is any more clarification or details on when we can expect to see new paperwork with the updated loyal info. Um, I'm going to just escalate that question to my BAM tomorrow. Yeah. Val, that, I don't, yeah. That'll be better for Val to answer. Okay. Best way to keep up with your team when it's growing quickly. Oh, it's so oh, fun it's when it's growing quickly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, you know, just stay connected. Just uh, do Zooms. Don't don't do too many trainings. You want people working, but you know, uh, make sure you're highlighting, recognizing those that are actually going out and getting the gathering those customers. You cannot recognize people enough. You know, I I, I joined network marketing. One of the reasons was I, I recognition. You know, this you're at home with two kids your husband comes in tired he's not saying honey great job he's usually saying honey what'd you do all day and you're like oh my gosh what did i do and so network marketing gave me the vehicle to be recognized and i, I still you know it's my love language so that's why i'm rec i recognize people all the time just if they get a customer shout it to the world and they'll go get another one so make sure that you're you know you're letting your people know you need to let me know when you get a customer. You need to let me know when you get a distributor. I want to recognize you. And then do something every month for every for the people that are doing the steps and doing the parts of the steps. And it could be that you send out a, a pack of Blitz cards to uh, the person uh, that everybody's name goes in a drawing for everyone that got gathered a customer for the month. So these are just simple, fun ways that you can stay on top of your team. But go in and see who's actually doing the work. And that's the people you want to be communicating with. That's the people you want to be talking to and edifying, recognizing. And, and then the others, uh, just a monthly Zoom so that they can stay connected. Uh, get them to a, make sure that everybody sees the calendar, that they know where the One Team, One Missions are. They're all over the place. Life changes when you get to a live event and we want them there we're seeing this all across the board i was out just the week before last over 100 guests in sioux falls on a very cold night over 100 guests came so we want the one team one missions rocking throughout every area if you're triple diamond or above we don't care if there's 20 people in the room host one team one missions and tell everyone to bring guests it's just a big wrap party that's all it is it doesn't need to be fancy doesn't need to be at a fancy place but do them host them we're watching to see who's doing the one team one missions who's going and attending one team one missions and boot camps that's who we're going to start recognizing is those that are participating and hosting these events you know i would say too uh enjoy the ride because that's amazing. And I would say layer your leadership. You know, as your business starts to grow, and we're leaders here, so your team starts to grow, your leadership is growing. Don't, don't expect yourself to be the one that's good at everything. You know, you're not gonna be. I mean, that's great if you are, but it works wouldn't run if it was just mom or just Mark or just Mike or yeah. you know, me. It's like, uh, no, this is a group effort, right? That mom's got her strength, Mark has his. So I always keep that in mind when I'm a leader. I'm like, as a leader, I'm like, well, you know, Mark and Pam are two different people. They run this company together and it, it's, it's a beautiful blend because they have their strengths. And so as a leader, I think, you know, that's why I'm always asking like, what are you good at? You know, when I'm going in to do this mini boot camp in San Diego and Diana and I talk, we're like, who's good at this? Who's good at this? Who's good at this? Because we want to know, you know, who's strong on social? You know, we, we can't expect to be a mastermind at all things. We're good at, our, at what we're good at. And so as your team is growing, you've got to layer that leadership down and give those leaders tasks. You know, if it's on your team page, ask a leader to be, you know, a tip of the day. Ask a leader to post a contest for the week and show them what it takes to be that leader so that they're up and coming and rising. It's like, I never forgot. I'll never forget when I first asked Laura Balzer to host a one team, one mission in Richmond, Virginia. I mean, she about threw up on me and she was so nervous, but she pulled it together. And what, what was I doing? I was layering my leadership. I was showing her, Hey, look, you know, you're taking over this area. Now this is your team in this area really growing. You're it. 
And um, that was an amazing moment for her. And she still talks about that, but that really kind of let, let her go a little bit. And out of that, there's, there's just this phenomenal leader there. And so I would encourage you to think about that. Who's good at what and give them tasks and don't try to be the end all be all. Yeah. Get them to be that segment on your zoom for the training. Yes. Get them plugged in to their strengths like that. And they, you know, their war, they'll bring stuff to you. Um, there's no way that I would even think that I knew everything at, or, or could possibly do everything. I stay in my strengths. Uh, the, the others, we, we, Mike has his, Mark has his. Now, uh, Cammie's uh, on board now with, uh, she just brought in two new hires. So one is out of Nashville. So for those of you in the Nashville area, she's going to, um, it is um, Mary Beth Dodd. Mary Beth will be helping with the leadership there. And then in um, Aspen, uh, I can't remember Aspen's last name. It's on the leadership page, Kay. Um, Aspen will be, uh, in another area, I'm not quite, I don't think they've defined her area yet, exactly where she's going to be, but she's going to be helping with the one team, one missions and helping with uh, recognizing those diamonds and above. So we're, we'll be utilizing them as well for, for leadership. Okay. All of you will be able to do that. Awesome. 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 So more details about that to come for yeah. sure. Um, what does running in quote look like to you? When someone says, I'm running for diamond, I'm going for it. I've got this. Yeah. Um, you know what that feels like. When someone says, I'm running for a diamond, should they be checking in with their upline daily? What coaching training is taking place from the upline? That's the question there. Well, I don't think you need to check in with your upline daily. I think you're going for diamond. You know, if you have a, a strategic question as far as volume or placement, absolutely check in with your upline uh, so that you can make sure that you're, you're building the correct rubies that you need and they're in the right position. Uh, you know, if it's an auto ship question, a for loyal customer question, things like that, absolutely tap in. Don't allow that to go too long before you take care of it. Um, ha uh, upline is great to uh, to utilize to make sure everything on that chart is right. I remember, you know, K, you go on ambassador, dump the double, triple, quadruple check, 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 making sure everything is right. It is so fun when you make up your mind to go for a new position. A, a lot of you have been at a position for a long time. And the reason is you've never declared the next position. You've never, Kay declared Black Diamond. She said it out loud. She put it out there publicly. And some of you have not declared your next position out of fear, out of thinking, well, it's not going to happen. Well, of course it's not. You didn't declare it. You didn't, you didn't go, you didn't run for it. You didn't work for it. So get out the next chart that where, wherever you need to be going. Now, Pencil in people because you're going to take people out, and put new people in, but look at it. it it's just like, um, you know, Kay's and both Kay and I are working out with the trainer and we have this new app called Trainer, uh, Trainer, Tra Trainerize. And we have to track ourselves. That way we can see it and our trainer can see it. It's no different that we can stay on target. Okay, well, why, why is this not moving on my body? Well, we need to put more effort there. We need to put more energy there. Uh, why is this Ruby not going as quickly as these? Well, let's go, let's go stoke that fire a little bit. Let's, let's be putting in attention there. Uh, let's get more rap parties online let's get offline rap parties let's get them out let's let's pull that those five people together and say look it's the first of the month we got to get this volume in play let's get those customers in play what volume do you need what products do you need how uh, make sure these customers credit cards are up to speed contact your customer see if you can upsell them see if you can get more volume in play this is not done on the 25th of the month this is done at the beginning of the month so that we know where we're at. As we move out of March, look at that chart 
and see, look, fill in all of that volume for the end of March so that you know where you're starting April 1. But we've got go fast and go bonuses that we want to create and make. There's a lot of money. These are stackable bonuses, meaning you could get the diamond, the double, the triple, the presidential, and the ambassador. I mean, that's adding hundreds of thousands of dollars into your family, into your legacy for the year. I don't know why you're not going for it. Yeah, and if yeah. you are, congratulations. And if you haven't pulled out that next chart, then you don't know where you're going. So every one of you, should have that next chart out. If it's triple, you should have a, 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 your diamond charts out whose names are on them and go to work for it. If it's going for double, then you should know who your diamond is and who your emerald is. And Kay, when they put their mind to it, it will happen. Yeah, will happen. I would like to talk about this from the perspective of, um, if you from, from the, uh, additionally from this perspective of where this question was asked, if that you're asking if that if that person on your team let's say mom was my distributor okay let's say that she that that she's a runner on my team that she says okay i'm going for it i'm going diamond i'm thinking about how you used to be with me mom yeah um then i would say okay let's look at your chart and she would get her chart out and we would have either a zoom or a, or a coffee depending on location and i would say okay let, let's look at your chart and at her chart, we would see there's, we need an emerald and a ruby. And I would say, okay, who's your emerald and who's your ruby? And if she stutter, uh, 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 Jody, okay, well, who's your, who's your ruby? And if there's hesitation there, then we have some coaching to do. We've got some parties to book. We've got, I've got to see, is she really running or does she want to say she's running? Is she just yeah. saying she's running? There's a difference in someone running and saying they're running. I'm like, okay, run. You know, my coach didn't say like, walk to the ball, go, you know, I mean, like we were running and we, and I, and I didn't just like, I had to show up to practice, you know, they got to show up to the game, right? Or they don't get, they don't get field time. Yeah. It's like Oprah said, uh, yeah, I have a trainer and a chef, but you know, I got to go do the workout. Yeah. And I, and when, when the chef prepares food, I've got to eat that specific food and no more than that. And then I'll lose weight and I'll look better yeah like it's the same thing with this a lot of people say i'm going this and i'm going that and i can tell that they're just bullying they're not because they don't have their chart out they they don't have anything their their calendar does not look like this right their calendar and here i have before, uh, november of last year which is not in this book their calendar looks like this it's empty that's what their calendar, that tells me a lot right there. So, so this is where your leadership comes in. It's like, okay, guide them through it, give them the steps, but it's up to them to go do the work. Now, if they come back and say, okay, I got Jody's having a party on Thursday. Susan's having a party on Friday. You know, Chase, he's going to have a party on Monday. He said he would do one on Monday and on Wednesday. And it's like, okay, then we do have somebody here that's serious. And then that's when you put the bodies in place and the charting questions would come in. And that, that's what, so when mom pushed me, it's like, I did the work. I'm like, okay, I've got so-and-so having a party. She was just kind of my guide. She just guided me. She just pointed me. Like a personal room. trainer. And I knew, then I went and did the work. Yeah, exactly. Just like my personal trainer lives in Virginia, but she trains me remotely. I still have to go to the gym every day. And I still have to tell her what I did and how much weight I did and what I ate. I have to check in. And that's what you have to do. That's the mindset you have to have. And they have to have that with you too. And that develops. I have people, I met with the girl, we had a great coffee. I gave her an hour. We talked about her diamond chart. I haven't heard from her since. Yeah. I've checked She's in. not serious. She's not serious. So I'm not wasting my time. I'm not like waiting for her to call. I am going out and sponsoring new people. I know that that fire could be lit or not, and I am not wasting my time. So it's the activity behind the words. Yes. You know, it's the activity. The activity tells you everything. That, uh, you know, people say to me, my business isn't growing. It's just not doing what I want. And I go look at their Facebook page, Kay, and there's nothing on it about it works. 
They haven't posted in a month. I'm like, you're not even posting. Yeah. You're not active. You want, what do you want? The, the, the magic pixie dust. You want to fall out of the sky? Nothing falls out of the sky. People that want things go to work. Mark and I worked all weekend. We worked all weekend. I, I've got, I've got a, 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 one team in New York on Sunday. The following week, I'm in Nashville. The following, uh, the week after that, we're gone for nine days to California. And then, you know, uh, in between that and Phoenix, there's more one teams. We're not sitting down. We're going to work. We've got more lives to change. We've got more volume to build. We've got more customers to gather, more distributors to sponsor. But this, this isn't over. This is just starting. So pull those charts out have a self-talk and decide. And what I always say, when a woman or a man makes up their mind, watch out, you've got to make up your mind that it's going. And, you know, I was, said something about Ashley Olive. She said, you know, I had a lot of parties where I had no shows. People didn't show, you know, I, I would book a party and nobody would come. But on Facebook, you would have thought the best party just happened. You know, I'm talking about how great that party was. She said, I'm just putting it out there. I'm not coming back and sitting down and saying, well, that was awful. No one came. She said, I still, bo I, I booked another one while I was there. I followed up with the people that were supposed to be there that didn't come. I sent them information. I invited them to another party. I found out why they couldn't come. Oh, but I'm having another one. I'm having another one. I'm having another one. Don't give up. Don't give up. This business is not about perfection. It's about working and putting in the time that it takes to get to that next level. Yeah. You know, you told me a powerful story about an ambassador uh, that finally figured out their why. Yeah. And this is a conversation that mom and I were having tonight over dinner. When that, when that part of you is made up, when that, when that decision is made and that why is known, uh, I was, I, I tried to call you. I've got to tell you, mom, I had a like, massive aha moment when I was driving home and I'm like, I know I just left, but I got something else. Guys, I feel it with every fiber of my being. And I want you to realize that you need to figure out your why if you don't know it. Because mm -hmm. some of these questions, I can tell it's like, and, 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 and I don't mean any offense, but I'm going to say this. It's like you're looking for something else when it's you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like you're looking yeah. for something there. You're looking, and I have to say this because it's like coming out of me, but you're looking for something else for someone else to do something or some, some answer to come to you. Or, or the next question is what personal development do you recommend for newbies? I don't. I, I recommend going executive. I recommend making money. I recommend bringing in some income because the, it, it's the income that they need so much. When you and, and get a fast start, I mean, go out and get wrap cash. Yeah, like yeah. have a party. Go, go, go blitz with them. Get to work and and show them the money. Like that's the personal development they need because they're they're in they're in the trenches right now. Like they're hurting, and that's really what I want to say. It's like, it's, it's not out there. It's like all within you. When you make up your mind, people, people want to know who you are. They want to know what you have. They want to know what your product is. The, the, I mean, the guy was just staring at my hat last night at the grocery store. He's like, what is that logo? Like it, what is it works? Cause I was, I had a jacket, a t-shirt, a leggings, a hat on. It was all <laughs> everything I have on says it works right now. I'm like, this is what I live and breathe. And that should be radiating from you. And when it does, you are it. You're the guy or the girl. You're the rap girl. And people want what you have. You become, I always say, become the rap girl or rap guy in your town. Become that. You and know, we walked through TSA this morning and, and the guy says, well, it must work. I said, why? He goes, well, you got it on and he's got it on. <laughs> <laughs> but Dave and I had on, it works. You know, that's yeah. what the front of our shirt said. I said, it absolutely does. And he goes, well, what is it? Yeah. And so, you know, we eat, live and breathe it. Well, Kay and I can be out without any, anything on and people go, what do y'all do? It's all over us that, that we've got something pretty magical, pretty special going on. 
when when you discuss i've watched people go from like cammy not having any distributors her first six months like cammy getting stuck and i know a lot of you go well i'd, I'd love to be stuck at thirty thousand dollars a month you know i'd love to be stuck there she talked about this on stage she said I had a brief conversation with Pam. I'd been at 30,000 for a long time. And once I, I figured it out after her basically telling me to get over myself within two months, I'm at 60. And it was always within her. She just need to, she needed to allow it to happen. She needed that sense of worthiness, that sense of knowing. And it's so a dig deep within you, get very quiet very very quiet one of the the things that you can do to help lift this why out and what what really has helped me is what do i want a typical day to be like like a tuesday what do i want a tuesday to be like uh, uh you know tomorrow's monday a lot of you've got to go to work you've, you've got jobs yeah uh, or you're you're working at work you don't even know what to do tomorrow you don't even have a list you don't you don't have to do's you don't know what, what you're going to you just banging around out there and banging around and wondering, well, what's going to happen tomorrow? I hope somebody falls out of the sky and joins my business. So why don't you write down, get a, get a piece of paper out, get a pen. What would the best day be like for you? What would that day be? We don't even know if it's Saturday. Every day is a Saturday. We don't know if it's Friday, Monday. You know, every day is so awesome for us. But it wasn't always like that. And so I discovered my why by writing out my perfect day. What would that day look like? From the moment that my eyes opened. And when you do that, when you create that day and you write it down and you start taking ownership of that day, you get up earlier. You get up earlier and you go to work on that day. You go to work on creating that magical day. And before you know it, you're living it. You are living it. But I, I just read a book called Relentless. Awesome book. Okay, I'll give it, give you uh, the title and the author and you can post it. Um, it's a Michael Jordan's personal trainer for 15 years. And I, uh, you know, I talked about Michael and his work ethic. We, we look at these these NBA players uh, and we just think that they've got this natural talent. A lot of them do have the natural talent, but don't go to, don't go to work on keeping it. And they, they bomb out of the NBA. They lose their, their jobs where he is, was so on target every single day about making those free throws, about workout, about hiring that trainer. He put in the time, he'd show up at four o'clock in the morning and, and start to work on his body and his mind. And, and he, he would get so in the zone and so focused. He would not allow anybody around him at all to come into his space before a game. Mm. He, he was that he wouldn't sit in and listen to anything. Anyone had to say he was so zoned in. You need to get zoned in on what you want. When you get zoned in and focused in on what you want and you create that day, no one can stop you. Suddenly the text messages do come in, the Facebook messages, you're posting, you're consistent, you're on fire and you know it. And I've watched this happen with distributors. I've watched them come in a room, sit down, and I see that switch in their eyes. You can tell it. You can see it. That switch goes off. And I'm like, that one's, that one's going that one has decided that they are, they're on tar. They're going to go. I don't have to say another word to them. I don't have to get out their chart. That chart's full. It's already done. They're just going to go fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. And here's what you notice. Every day becomes an adventure. Every day is exciting. Every moment of every day. And that's what you want to, to live your life like. It's not, let's get there and then celebrate. You want to celebrate every day. All those minor things that happen. That new loyal. That $400 volume that you needed. That new distributor. Lori Conway said, I want five Sherry Lynn's. 
I want five. I, no, she said, I want one. I said, why not get five? Mm. Why do you, why are you limit yourself to one? Why not, don't you want five Sherry Lynn's? And she goes, Oh my gosh. Yes. I want five. I said, then be Sherry Lynn. What, what about her is, is attractive to you? She goes, her, just her, her spirit, her energy, her drive. I said, then be that Lori, you've got all that within you. There's nothing that you're lacking. Be that energy, be that drive, be, be, you know, be the best Lori that you can be. And then here come the five Sherry Lynn's. They're not going to come until that happens because you're just thinking it's impossible. You're, you're thinking that there's only one Sherry Lynn. Oh my gosh. There's a million Sherry Lynn's. There's a million out there just waiting, just waiting. Sherry Lynn just wanted to, to tighten up her mommy belly. That's all she wanted. And the girl said, hey, it's $40 more to be a distributor. And she said, okay, gets off the phone and has a nervous breakdown. Oh, my gosh, how am I going to tell my husband I just spent $99? He said, well, Sherry Lynn, you spend that at Target on stuff we don't need. <laughs> he said, just go get it back. And she went to work, and it started happening. So let's, let's just be the best that we can be. Let's hone in on what we want, and let's get it done. Let's quit talking about it. Quit swishing it around and wishing, net wishing. Let's go to work. You know, let's have that drive, that work ethic that we need. Let's all do that. So it's not going to be easy, but I'm telling you, when you get there, it is so much fun. And I, I have, I'm not even there yet. I have big, huge, bodacious dreams, y'all. I mean, I got stuff that I can't even tell Big Daddy because it scares him. <laughs> it scares him. But it's going to happen. I put it out there, it happens, and I don't, I'm not afraid to go to work for it. I'm not afraid to get up every day and stretch myself and learn and read and pour into myself and go look in the mirror, go drag my ear in the mirror and say, look, you didn't do it today, girl. You didn't show up. It's time to show up. It's time to do it today. All right, Kay, got to get ready for my call. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I um... Get on it. Got to get on and join us. Thank you guys yeah. so well, much. Bye, everyone. Bye, you guys. Bye. Yeah.